Have you ever wondered how marathon runners can go the distance? Ah, the marathon, the ultimate test of human endurance. Tracing its roots back to the ancient city of Marathon in Greece, the marathon as we know it today is a grueling 26.2 mile journey. It's a battle not just of physical prowess, but also of mental fortitude. Running a marathon is no walk in the park. It's a feat that requires a certain degree of obsession, resilience, and a dash of madness. The human body is pushed to its limits, muscles burn, hearts pound, and yet the relentless marathoner perseveres. But it's not just the body that's tested. The mind too is put through its paces. The mental challenge of keeping going when every fiber of your being is screaming to stop is perhaps the toughest part of the whole endeavor. So, what's the secret behind these long distance titans? To appreciate the marathon, we must first delve into the evolutionary adaptations that make humans uniquely suited for endurance running. Our physiological traits developed over time enable us to endure the demands of long distance running. One such adaptation is our efficient cooling system. Unlike other animals that rely on panting to cool down, humans can sweat, allowing us to regulate body temperature and continue running in the heat. Our long legs, coupled with short toes, provide us with great leverage and balance, enabling us to maintain a steady and efficient stride over extended distances. At the heart of our endurance, however, lies our muscular system. Humans have a large proportion of slow-twitch muscle fibers, which are fatigue-resistant and specialized for long-duration activity. These muscles are the engine that drives the feat of endurance. As we jog, our slow-twitch fibers begin to break down glucose, providing the energy needed to propel us forward. However, they also produce lactic acid, a byproduct that can cause fatigue and discomfort. The body's ability to clear this lactic acid and buffer its effects is key to maintaining performance during a marathon. Endurance isn't just about the physical traits. It's also about our body's ability to adapt to increased physical stress. Over time, with regular training, the body becomes more efficient at delivering oxygen, clearing lactic acid, and producing energy. This adaptation is what allows humans to keep going mile after mile, pushing past their limits. So, you see, running a marathon isn't just a physical challenge. It's a celebration of our evolutionary progress a testament to the unique physiological adaptations that make us human. The human body is indeed a marvel, but what fuels this incredible machine during a marathon? Every machine requires fuel, and the human body is no exception. Marathon running is one such task, a grueling test of endurance that pushes the body to its very limits. And when it comes to such a task, the type of fuel matters greatly. Consider the importance of nutrition in marathon running. Nutrition is not just about the food we eat, it's about the fuel we provide our bodies. The body's preferred source of fuel for endurance activities is carbohydrates. These are converted into glucose, which is then stored in the muscles and liver as glycogen. During a marathon, these glycogen stores are depleted, leading to fatigue. This is where the importance of a carbohydrate-rich diet comes into play, providing the body with the necessary fuel to sustain the rigorous activity. But remember, Carbohydrates aren't the only game in town. Fats also play a key role. When glycogen stores are low, the body begins to burn fat to keep going. This is a slower process, and it's why marathon runners often hit the wall around the 20 mile mark when glycogen stores are depleted. A diet rich in healthy fats can help delay this point, allowing runners to maintain their pace for longer. Hydration too is a critical part of the equation. Water isn't just about quenching thirst, it's essential for maintaining blood volume, regulating body temperature, and preventing muscle cramps. Dehydration can lead to a drop in performance and, in severe cases, can be life-threatening. So as you can see, fueling the body isn't just about eating and drinking. It's about choosing the right nutrients and maintaining a balance that allows the body to perform at its best. Nutrition and hydration are vital, but there's another crucial element to marathon success. The mind. A marathon isn't just a physical challenge, it's a mental one too. Yes, the science of marathon running goes beyond the physiology of the human body. It delves into the realm of the human mind, into the very core of our psyche. Consider the mental resilience needed to run a marathon. It's the ability to keep going, to push through the pain, fatigue and exhaustion, 
to convince your body to keep moving when every fiber of your being is screaming for you to stop. This resilience is born of a mental toughness, a strength of will that can only come from deep within. Picture the focus required. Running a marathon is not about speed. It's about endurance. It's about focusing on the road ahead, on the next step, the next breath, the next heartbeat. It's about shutting out the distractions, the noise, the cheers and the jeers and concentrating solely on the task at hand. It's about being in the moment, being present, being aware of your body and its limits. And let's not forget the motivation. Why do we run marathons? What drives us to push our bodies to such extremes? For some, it's the challenge, the thrill of competition, the desire to test our limits. For others, it's more personal. It may be a way to honor a loved one, to raise awareness for a cause, or simply to prove to ourselves that we can do it. Running a marathon is a journey, and like any journey, it's as much about the path as it is about the destination. It's about overcoming obstacles, facing our fears, and discovering our true potential. But what happens when we push ourselves too far? When we push our bodies and minds to their limits? What happens when the wall of fatigue hits and the finish line seems like a distant dream? That's when the real challenge begins. That's when we discover what we're truly made of. The mind indeed plays a crucial role. But what happens when the body and mind are pushed to their limits? There is a point in a marathon known as the wall, where even the most seasoned runners feel like they can't go on. You might be wondering what exactly this wall is. It's a phenomenon where a runner suddenly feels an overwhelming sense of exhaustion, usually around the 20 mile mark. It's as if they've hit an invisible barrier, a wall, that they simply can't push through. So, why does this happen? The answer lies in our body's energy reserves. When we start running, our body primarily uses glycogen, a form of energy stored in our muscles and liver. However, these reserves are limited and can typically fuel about 20 miles of running. When these reserves run out, our body is forced to switch to fat as an energy source, which is less efficient. This switch manifests as a sudden drop in energy levels, often described as hitting the wall. When fatigue sets in and every fiber of your being is screaming at you to stop, it's your mind that has to pull you through. The psychological aspect of the wall is equally as daunting, if not more so than the physical one. It's a test of mental fortitude, resilience and determination. Runners overcome this wall in several ways. Some slow their pace or take walking breaks. Others use mental strategies like breaking the remaining distance into smaller, manageable segments. For many, it's about digging deep, finding that internal motivation, and reminding themselves of why they're doing this in the first place. Nutrition also plays a crucial role. Consuming energy gels or drinks during the race can help maintain glycogen levels and delay the onset of the wall Training, too, can help. Long runs in preparation for the marathon condition the body to better utilize fat as a fuel source, making the transition smoother. Overcoming the wall certainly requires a great deal of willpower, but is there a way to avoid hitting it altogether? Well, with the right preparation, mental strategies and nutrition, runners can certainly give themselves the best shot at doing just that. Preparation is key in any endeavor, and marathon running is no exception. To prepare for the grueling 26.2 miles, you must build your endurance. This is achieved through incrementally increasing your running distance over several weeks or even months. Strength training is another crucial aspect. It's not just about the legs, mind you. Your core, your arms, your back, they all play vital roles in maintaining good form and propelling you forward. It's a symphony of muscles working in harmony. And then, there's the art of rest. Contrary to popular belief, rest days aren't just about taking a break. They're about allowing your body to recover, to rebuild, to come back stronger. It's during these periods of rest that your body adapts to the stress of running, helping you avoid the wall and improve your performance. So there we have it, the science behind marathons, an incredible journey of body and mind that takes us to the very limits of human endurance. We hope you enjoyed the journey exploring marathon science. Hit that like button and subscribe to Psy Sips to keep your marathon of learning from hitting a wall. Till next time, stay fit and keep on moving.